把它散包，放到散包。For the next part, this is pretty much what we uh, will need: fittings, um, 12 volt, uh, six-way valve, a uh, few caps, electric connector, a cable, outdoor cable, the hoses, so that we can hook the uh, a third function on the uh, basic and also hook obviously the uh, plow, the plow. <laughs> Okay, it's been a while since we didn't make any video of the uh, progress. So basically we hook the plow on the tractor. We hook the hoses on the cylinders here to quick connect. This one, this is a um, support that is still to be uh, hooked or attached to the uh, front end loader. And we go down with the new hoses inside here. Now, this is the current front end loader valve uh, system. We have on this side, this is the uh, uh, side that um, rise or lower the front end loader, and this one is for the curve. So, from this point, we took out the two existing hoses, we put new hoses, and we went to that. Okay, the two Hoses that were going to the curl cylinder are going to the side of the valve. When not energized, the solenoid valve will flow these uh, two hoses through those two one, which goes, by the way, to the existing curl cylinder. And when this valve is energized, then it's the two other hoses at the back here that will activate the plow inclination. So we are left to hook this uh, with electricity and after that we'll be able to do a trial.
is being uh, fed by uh, electricity, 12 volt, it's uh, 3 amps. Uh, we added a new panel inside to uh, divide the uh, source of power and we've added this switch on this side which is now the uh, switch to activate the uh, curse cylinder or the plow, plow cylinder and this one is for the PTO and this one now is for this uh, valve and we used extension cord, outside extension cord wires so they are fully covered with uh, good quality rubber and they have uh, at least two uh, wires inside, actually three we only use two out of three and this is it so for you to know, this is an insert actually it's pretty much like a pop rivet yeah and but there's threads inside this is a, a quarter of an inch 20 thread and we're going to insert that in that hole uh, that's the first time I use that I hope that works uh, wait that's oh. hard eh? oh you're hard yeah I have just, a few a few one more shot that's it only that like so that. It's, it's squished. It's all squished there. It's not going to come out. You can't move it now. Oh, okay. Okay, we have this uh, blade, which is um, a, a used blade, as you can see, because uh, of the rust, obviously. But there's still some good life in it. It's uh, actually a half inch thick, maybe six inches wide, and it was just over 72 inches, which is uh, actually 74 inches. We're going to cut down the uh, two remaining in inches on each side. Um, we're going to uh, attach this to the blade. So we're attaching it to the uh, bottom iron angle uh, with 58 volt, carriage bolt actually. And it should match. Good. <laughs> Let's do that. The next step is to uh, put some uh, reinforcing gussets uh, behind just inside the bolts so that the uh, blade doesn't uh, bend. Actually, the uh, angle iron doesn't bend. Uh, that makes a lot of uh, overhang and it needs some reinforcement to uh, hold this. This is the skid shoes we will be using. So that's uh, five inches or four and a half inches 
plate that has been bent, I guess, because there's the uh, round corners. And we did that pattern. Next, we're going to bend those so that they match the uh, 30 degrees angle. Next part is the uh, skid shoe. So we use that uh, piece that we uh, cut and uh, bent. We're going to weld a plate, quarter of an inch plate, two by two tube, like so. And for the adjustment, that would be a uh, for sliding, we'll use a mechanical tube, so inside there's no weld, so it slides pretty much fit over a 2x2, two two. so we'll be able to make the adjustment for that. There will be no pivot point whatsoever, so um, it will keep track of the direction of the uh, plow, and we're just have, going to have some adjustment for the aid. That's it.